we can put in just letters where people can just go and download a letter and they can just sign it. I have uh, um, on, I have like two websites that I have that's outside of here, but it's my political hat that I wear and it's womenforcookcountygovernment.org and uh, so you can go there and I have all the stuff about Cook County. Only thing you have to do is click on it. And then I have women for Illinois government org. I can email it to you, so okay. you don't have to write it down. I'll email it to you, and also I'll get that from Thrusha, mm -hmm. and so we can email that to you too. Because it's so important that we share all this information with all women, so they can live a better life. Well, you and know, I, and the thing is, you've got Hispanic women who are yeah. now comfortable speaking the language, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I feel like they're taking advantage, or it sounds like they're being taken advantage. Believe of. me, honey. Black people don't speak the language either, right. and they're taking advantage of it too. Yeah, was, so therefore, they don't saying. understand it. So, but what we can, what you can do is, you know, you can explain that to them in Spanish. Mm -hmm. You know, you can like get the knowledge, be, be, and it, it, you share it with them. You know, right. but I, you know, I used to go to court with uh, kids, and you know, I would see the Spanish kids in court with interpreters. And I would see the black kids in court with nobody. And they don't understand that language. Yeah. They don't understand. So, but we, what, what I'm saying is, if we come together as a group, and then we can change the laws. And like I said, the president, and, and it's so amazing with these banks, because the bank, in 2000, in 2000, I was on a committee where we were working and getting funding from the bank mm -hmm. to get rid of predatory lenders. And then, so we got rid of all the currency exchanges. You remember those old, old currency exchanges? Yeah. Okay. They were on every block, mm -hmm. overcharging people. Mm -hmm. So the oh, banks, yeah, 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 so the banks, you know, you, you want to cash a check for five, I mean, for $100, they charge you $10 to charge, can't get your money. So the banks, they're like, okay, let's get rid of predatory lenders. And then what they did was they stepped up and just filled those shoes and start charging you all these fees. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, you know, so that's why we got to speak out against that. And, you know, with the credit card companies, you know, just, I mean, they would, you could have, you start with zero or 7%, the next thing you know is 25%. Right, because they run you, your credit check and or right. they run your credit check right in the middle of. Yeah, and, but the whole thing about it is, it was the law, it was, it was uh, in the law that what they could do was they could charge you, like, if you're late. Okay. They can boost it up to the highest percentage. But they also, the other banks and credit card companies would just monitor your accounts. Mm -hmm. So if you, even if you're not late with them, but you're late with this other bank, mm -hmm. they still boost your, your, your uh, uh, interest rate as high as, as possible. So that was so, so bad. So now since the president has like said, like, no, you can't do all this. So what the banks are doing now is, if you notice, they're like, okay, we, they can't do this to you now. So what they're going to do is charge you all these other fees. Like if you go to the ATM, it's going to be $5. Right. So what I'm telling people to do is find a local bank, as we talked about the, the other day, find a local bank or credit, uh, uh, um, um, credit, credit union, union mm -hmm. and work with them. Okay. And work with them. Because it's not fair. And so what we have to do is make sure that not only are we fighting against these, these banks, we find these credit card companies, now we got to fight the credit reporting companies. And we can only do that in them. fascinating to me. I remember how I felt. I was so embarrassed that I allowed these people to use me. I mean, I lost a lot. I lost my retirement money. I lost uh, all my credit, my car. I did sell my house. But now you can't even get an apartment. Now they run your credit check just to get a job. Yeah, but that that is no longer. I know it's a, that's no longer. I found one yeah. at, mm -hmm. on the internet who they didn't come right out and ask me for my credit report. But they said, well, why don't you go run your credit report and send me the result? I immediately report left them. Alone. them. Oh, report them know. because it's against the law. They were using that as a form of discrimination. That's how I felt. Yeah. Because number one, it has always been on the books that they could check your credit, but it was only there for financial institutions. Yeah. It was there like if you're going to work in a bank or something like that, they check your credit, 
because if they feel like if you are in need of money, then you're going to embezzle some money from the bank. But then they start checking your credit for Target. Yeah. That is that, that was like a form of uh, uh, discrimination. But I so have, now the president said, like, you can't not do that anymore. But then you have another way around that, which I noticed, that although they ask you for your credit report, but if they want to check you for any, any type of fraudulent thing, they can run a background check, mm -hmm. and that will show up. Mm -hmm. What does my credit report have to do with me? It is against the law for them to answer your credit report. Right. That's what I'm yeah. thinking that I'm saying now. And that is just going into effect this year because mm -hmm. before they were using that against everybody. Yeah. So and, and so that was just totally unfair. So we, I fought against that too because I work with the Federal Reserve Bank, okay. as you all see. Okay. I mean, I don't work with them, but I'm a partner, partner. with them. So I can be involved in basically what's going on out here. Yeah. And that's why I ask other people to fill out this form and put what you're doing to help the community and help the world. Because it takes all of that if we're going to make this a place a better place. You know? And getting to you uh, about um, uh, your friend and your, your mother, mm -hmm. you know, um, what is her situation as far as, you know? Which part are you the part that you said that she, her finances. My mom? Yeah. My mom um, uh, gets a pension from my dad who was a firefighter. Okay. And she also gets Social Security. And she spends the money, I think, within the first five days. Okay. She sounds like me. She's getting early Alzheimer's. Oh, and, okay. And so um, uh, her mother had that. And was looking for places for her to live that had continuing continual care mm -hmm. where they could treat her as her Alzheimer's progressed.